Hello, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. This video show you easy and fast method to find inverse function. Okay, how to find the inverse function? Actually, we have two patterns. The first one is for linear. Okay, for linear example function f equal to mx plus c where m is gradient and c is y intercept so the f inverse of x is x minus y intercept and then divided by gradient so f inverse of x is x minus c divided by m okay now you can remember this as formula of f inverse for linear Okay, example, uh, when you are given function f mapping x to 5x plus 7, so 5 is m and 7 is c. f inverse for x is x minus c and then divide by m. So x minus 7 divided by 5 is f inverse for f. Okay, second example, f mapping x to 2x minus 1. So we identify which one m and c. So f inverse x is x minus negative 1 and then divide by 2. Okay. So we simplify we get x plus 1 divided by 2. Next example, function f mapping x to 5 minus 3 over 2x. In this case, uh, we must arrange this function into mx plus c. So negative 3 over 2x plus 5 which one is m and which one is c so negative 3 over 2 is m and then 5 is c so f inverse x is x minus c and then divide by m okay then we can simplify it by negative 2 times x minus 5 divide by 3 we can also write the final answer by 10 minus 2x divide by 3 Okay, next for the second pattern is a quotient of two linear. Okay, example when you are given function f uh, mapping x to uh, px plus q and then divided by rx plus s. To find the inverse, you must identify the value of p and s. So the inverse of f is we just copyright the function from f but we must swap the location between p and s and at the same time we change the sign of p and s okay we look at the first example function f mapping x to 5 minus 3x divided by 2x minus 7 in this case we must arrange the quotient of two linear into mx plus c divided by mx plus c so we get negative 3x plus 5 divided by 2x minus 7 to find the inverse, we just consider the value of negative 3 and negative 7 from function f. And then we swap the location between negative 3 and negative 7. At the same time, we change its sign. So f inverse of x is 7x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 3. Okay, next example is when you are given function f mapping x to 4 plus 3x divided by 2x minus 7. Okay, in this case, we arrange uh, the function to 3x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 7 to find the inverse from the formula we consider the value of 3 and negative 7 and when we change its position and change its sign so f inverse of x become uh, 7x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 3 okay for the last example function f mapping x to 6 divided by 5 minus 4x in this case we must arrange uh, the function into mx plus c so we just write 0x plus 6 at the above and then we consider the value of 0 and positive 5 uh, change its position and its signs so we get f inverse x is uh, negative 5x plus 6 divided by negative 4x plus love and then we simplify it we get 5x minus 6 divided by 4x okay for conclusion uh, there are only two pattern of function that we can apply this method uh, the first pattern is the function of f is mx plus c 
and then the second pattern is when px plus q over rx plus s so for the first pattern f inverse become x minus c divided by gradient and then for the second pattern is if we just uh, change its position for p and s and its sign okay that's all from me thanks for your time watching this video hopefully this video will help you to understand how to find the inverse okay don't forget to subscribe thank you